Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Got two or three exclusive things to tell you in this episode. Ellie's the first one. You may not recognise Ellie, but Ellie is the you are the original we are the original Bungle Collects, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Original crew. So the when we first uploaded videos, Ellie was my glamorous assistant. She ditched me for something more interesting and I've had to drag her back for this episode. It's part of a two part episode, and that's because the two pound hunt of certainly this book is coming to a close. So that's the second uh, exclusive. And the third exclusive, for those of you that missed mine and Lady M's live stream, is that these books are what's going to be used going into 2022. And it's going to be to do with 50 pences. But I'll tell you all about that after I've told you about Ellie and also what Ellie's book is involved. So we've got two pound hunt for you today. We've got two episodes to try and fill Ellie, because this is actually Ellie's book. People might not remember this, Ellie, but this was this was your original book, wasn't it? Trying to find every £2 in circulation. And the writing around the outside, I think, had to be the right way up, as we called it. I'm going to show people what I mean there. Um, and and I've, got, I've got a surprise for you. Basically, if we find the final coin that we need, I'm going to give you the book. You can actually have it to keep, mm -hmm. you know? Because obviously, I filled the book. It's cost me to fill the book, Ellie, you know... They're not, it's not really Ellie's book. It was, but it wasn't. She ditched the channel, so I had to, you know, had to basically say, you can't have the book. But I'm gonna, this is your chance. Look, it says Bungle Collects Ellie's book, £2. So you've got the chance to win your own book if we find. how long you've been doing that for, I'm going to take an educated guess and say it's not going to be in there. Okay, well, there's a plan B, and I'll tell you about plan B in a minute if that doesn't uh, remind me what, 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 what you play. Actually, I'm going to give you the chance to either... Have we got couple of heads or tails for it? No, no. I'm going to give you the chance. So you've got two episodes. If you've got a £1,000 worth of 50... Uh, 50 p's. A £1,000 worth of £2 to go through. And you can either go for the chance to win your book, right? Or you can select the, 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 the bonus prize. I've been trying to flog <laughs> my last set of bungle badges. So I've only got 20 badges for sale and 20... You know, signed by me and your mum, official kind of uncirculated, I'm calling them. <laughs> so you could say, right, Dad, um, I'll go for my book to have the chance to take to win my own book, or I'll settle for the, the final this set. This seems like some really dodgy game show. No, yeah, well, it would be dodgy game show. This is, this is, this is the deal. You're going to meet Gibraltar. You're going to meet him, uh, and that's that. So, is that but, why he's called Walter? Yeah, from Jib, Jib Walter. He was from Walter, from Gibraltar. Yeah, Jim Walter. That was Blevin. Blevin, Blevin, but he, he named it. That was Welsh, by the way. But anyway, I'm digressing. Oh, so let's go through Ellie's book. So we were trying to find every single £2 coin in circulation. It's been going for over two years. It was something like December the 6th. <laughs> uh, I think it was. Something like that. But certainly December... Have you been going on that long? 2008. We've been going nearly three years, isn't it? It'd be three years in February 22 mm -hmm. since we started the channel. So, yeah, we haven't been going on that long. But anyway, people, people, enough about me. You know, it's my name on the channel, but it's enough about me. So this is the book. So we're trying to find every £2 in circulation and the writing around the outside had to be a certain way up. So I'll show you with this uh, this Commonwealth Games. Because remember, it was it was the ultimate competition, wasn't it? It was, it was me versus you for who would fill their book first and I won by a long a long way. So this is this is Northern Ireland. This coin alone, Ellie's worth between, about thir between 30 and £35. So it's, it's worth having. So... Not an error or anything, and it depends which way it goes into the rimming machine, but ultimately the writing around the outside is that, that way up. So it had to be, if you got the Queen's head and then you flipped it over and you could read it, it went in your book. If, it was, if you flipped it over and the writing was that way around, then it went in my book, and I won ages ago, but your book is still... So me and your mum have been plugging away trying to get this mm. for, for two years for you. But it is coming to an end, Ellie. It is coming to an end. So the, these two episodes, and that's it, that the book is closing forever because we're going in a slightly different direction mm. come, um, come January. So Ellie needs Commonwealth Games Wales to complete and the writing has to be the right way around. Uh, we did, we'd did. also be nice to find a Navy Centenary, so that's a ship, but with a slight error on the flag. Mm. But that's just a variant, so we weren't bothered about that. Uh, so if we get Commonwealth Games Wales, the book is yours. Got everything up until including Great Fire London. These are definitely your coins, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, they you, you bought these or collected these. Um, who, who give you that one? Uh, Grand Alex. Grand Alex, give you that one. Um, he also gave me that one. Nice, nice. That Was that from when we went to um, China? We yeah. went to Shanghai. And I found that one in a coin that was mum. Yeah, it'll be a temp a temp hunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the old coffee pot. I think that is. Um, 
I almost found it in Asda. That's right, yeah, you found a sixpence in a coin machine from 1934. Got silver in that. Got some, it'll be probably be 50% silver, I reckon, 1934. Mac and Moolah will tell me, or Lafter will tell me otherwise. And this one was from? Trev. Yes. Trevor, coins to collect Trevor. I also gave it that one as well. I think you did. Yeah. Yeah, cheeky monkey. So yeah, this is this really is your album. We've just been looking after it for you for two years since you ditched us. And these are all the fake two pounds, don't we? I will not be giving you them. Does anybody buy two pounds? I think I've got about, um, I think there's 29, so I've probably got about 30 or 35 two pound coins. Does anybody want to buy them? Are they worth anything? Can I at least get my two pound back if someone bought, bought all the fakes? So yeah, so you, so you won't be winning the fakes, Ellie, but you'll get the chance of getting get it. So... What do you want? So right now we've got two. You've got a thousand pounds to go through over two episodes. Do you want to play for the chance to win your own book, mm. or do you want the final uh, badges and signed bunny by me and your mum? Because uh, this this is six pound. This six pound <laughs> worth because that's what that's what it costs six pound mm. for the badges, and you get a free bunny signed bunny. Uh, and well, postage and packaging. I already have both of them on my phone because you've both sent me them before on text messages. I'm pretty sure I've printed that photo out. I have that picture in my camera roll because I took that picture and I'm all right, I don't want that, so we're going to go with this one. <laughs> so you're going for the gamble. Yeah. You're gambling for the lot. Ellie also pointed out, that means, that means guys and girls, that this final set is still for sale. So if you want to buy the Poochie badges, the Poochie... The, the Bungle collects badges, £6 included portion of packaging, and you do get the exclusively double-signed bunny by, by Ellie's mum and dad uh, on there. £6. Oh, two. is that what we're selling it as? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Ellie's, yeah, so Ellie's a star of the show, so her mum and dad have signed that. And you can only get them in this, in this bundle or a part of it if you win it, if you, if you remember. Um, but anyway, um, postage as well. I might even send it first class because it's nearly Christmas. Ellie pointed out, because Ellie took this photograph, Ellie pointed out, and is, is it true? I actually think it is. I'll just I use the, the cocktail. So Ellie's saying that you can actually see Harry's lipstick on this. Is, is that? It's either that or a very red looking leaf. Oh, is that or is that not Harry's lipstick? So those of you, the other 19 people that have bought a set, have a look at your, your set. Is, is that Sir Poochington's lipstick? Was he, was he happy to see us in his Christmas jumper? But yeah, anybody else, if you want to buy it, six quid. Email me at bungalcollects at gmail.com or message me on if you're friends with us on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. Last set, six quid. Surely someone will want that very last set. Um, Gibraltar, you look after that. Right, so have we gone? All right, so, so what kind of money are we talking here? So the, the face value, face value. Uh, Northern Ireland, 30 to 35 quid. Mm-hmm. England, at least a tenner. So there's 45 quid. Um, Scotland, yeah, oh, let's got quite a tenner, but let's just say a tenner because England might be twelve quid, so that's fifty five pound. Mm-hmm. You find Wales, I reckon Wales must be fifteen pounds worth of coin now. What's that? Sixty seventy quid. Uh, they're all face value. Uh, face value. That's probably worth about four quid. So there's seventy four. There's another four quid. Seventy eight face value. Face value. Whoa. You can see, argue. Uh, uh, you could argue there's a fiver there for for Saint uh, mm. Saint James's Bible, Saint Mary James, James James's Bible, Saint Mary James, something like that. So that's eighty quid. Mary Rose probably eighty five pound. Uh, four quid there. There's say ninety ninety five. So yeah, ninety. So if he's got a hundred in just in the commemorative coins plus the face value of everything else, so I reckon there's probably. Minimum of about 125 quid's worth of coins there, really. And I've got about £1.50 of my coins in the back. A £1.50, yeah, which you get to keep. And the album as well. So oh. the, al- the album was probably five, six, seven, eight quid. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's your chance. So, to be fair, the odds are stacked against you. Two years in, tens of thousands of pounds me and your mum have looked through. Never found Commonwealth Games Wales with the writing the right way up. But... You've got to be in it to yeah, win I'm it. Yeah, I'm going to go through about a million to one, but hey-ho. So this is going up tonight. Uh, this will be uploaded tonight, and the other one is next Thursday. It's the date next Thursday is the 23rd of December, so will Ellie complete the challenge? Uh, oh, and I'll just say as well while I'm here, and that's because when they... Um, once that book is closed, once the £2 book is closed, because next year, come January, Lady M and I are starting our own books of 50 pences. So we're going to do a year-long challenge for how many 50... How, how close are we going to get to filling? So very much like we did... Before you ditched us, this is it. So the two pound hunts will only be probably on a Sunday every now and again when I do a solo hunt if I get the coins from the post office because we have to start paying bank charges now and it uh, costs a lot of money it. getting there. Probably I'd be crying about it. <laughs> so yeah, so the two pound hunt, it's, we, we, we focus on 50p's, the cheaper. Right, Ellie, so you have a choice. So in episode one, you can have 
from the NatWest, sealed bag, but rolly over bags on the inside, or from the NatWest again, but from the rock hard Northern A Dock Cash Centre, oh. sealed bag with sealed bags inside. So what do you want for episode one? Rolly over bags or sealed bags? Take your pick. We'll go rolly over and leave them on for right, a Right, okay, 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 right. We'll, we'll be filming them back to back. Right, do you want to do it? Do you want to do the Lady M bit? Hang on, let me just see. There we go, so go for it. Go for it. So does anybody recognise Ellie? Has anyone been around long enough to know who Ellie is? She goes hasn't been that long. It has, but it must be, you've probably only been in a video. This is probably the third time you've been in a video for two years, I would say. So does anybody remember Ellie? She goes by a few different names. Her name is Ellie, uh, also known as Ellie Belly. Um, Belly 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 is another one, isn't it? Back in the day, you, how many times you can shout it down the phone before I say what? Belly, 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 belly. That's basically how I, uh, how I answer, how I, when I ring Ellie, that's what I say. Belly, 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 and she'll occasionally say, "Yes, what do you want?" I found one. You've got one. You've got one. Elephant. When you were younger, that was the original. Oh, helicopter, which mom did not like. Do you want it right? I okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so are you happy to hold them up and go close, or do you want me to zoom in? How do you take it? Because if you just want to hold it up, you just go as close as you can to I this side of the camera. What I was go on. 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 I'm just making sure it'll Keep stay going. focused. No, it will. Yeah. Once it's focused, do you should have to put something behind it. But once it's focused, it'll stay focused. And if it's not in focus, it'll be in B and Q. Right. <laughs> any any idea what that is? It's a history. Oh, the history it is tragedies. Oh, you want it's histories. It's um, what do you say? Is that Macbeth? We had a debate about this. I, I'm I, talking about it. I, I've got no idea about Macbeth or anything like that, but it is Shakespeare's histories, 2016, part of the hat trick of Shakespeare's. I found another this, one. This is this is Robert Burns. So this has got may all the acquaintance be forgotten on it. Don't find it very often, actually. Oh, I tell you what, Ellie, that is a stonker. That is, uh, do you know what it is? Any idea what that one is? It says Olympic on it. It does? I don't know. Oh, do I, do you want I just can't see which way I know, yeah, come over a bit just so, because obviously our faces yeah. will be covering it. Look at that. There we go. So that is a top of the pops gold find. That is less than a million of that minted. That is a corker. That is an absolute beauty. And it's, a, it's an Olympic coin, and it's celebrating 100 years of the Olympics. Yeah, from 1908 yeah. and um, it's got the fourth Olympiad around the outside because it was held in London. I'm going down this way because they're mums of mine. There is, uh, there is, that's another Shakespeare, that's comedy, is the one with the, the jester's hat on. I'm just going to move that over because I like to have a, things in a little bit of an order. Um, so yeah, we'll put that next to it and we've only got the skulls left to go. Right, we seem to be in each other's dance space. Your, your mum's a lot more generous when it comes to... Sorry. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Accommodating the, uh, the space that she takes up, but that's okay. I suppose you are a guest for two episodes only. Oh, why did I don't... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you just, maybe you just got massive hands oh. compared to your mum's, mm. you know, because I feel, I feel as I'm hitting. I don't want to hit your ball to... And they're both, yeah. I found Lord Kitchen, I remember him. Oh, you see, she does remember. She is, she, is a, she is a coin collector, really. I also live with you. Was it not? Um, there you go. You have a look, if you have a look on the, uh, if you flip over, and if it doesn't say two pounds on it, you've got an expensive coin. I can't see. I can. It I'm says two pounds. Blind. I'm afraid it is only worth two quid. Then that one. Can you remember what the, the standard one's called? This one. Technology. It is. See, you, you are you are a secret coin collector, aren't you? I found another one. Did you just get too cool for it? Is that what it was? Were you too embarrassed? <laughs> I you... think I got too bored to do it that often. Any idea what that is? It's the gunpowder plot. It is? You know, you know them all, don't you? Do, do you tell do you tell your friends that your mum and dad are YouTube megastars? There's another comedy. Only if they say, why is there a bunch of lights and a camera thing in your conservatory? Whoa, conservatory? Sorry, Magic Studio. Thank you, thank I've you. seen at least two more in my file. What, what, what do you say? What do you, do you say, I oh say yeah, the YouTube megastars? <laughs> that is Brunel. We found the same one. Oh, right, yeah. Brunel selfie, portrait. Very common, that one. Uh -huh. Isn't bad, Kingdom Brunel around the outside. Oh, we're stacking them separate and then I've put them on top of each other. We'll go, we'll go separate. Right, what, we'll put the Shakespeare's along the top. Yeah, yeah we'll go completely the separate. Ones is the arches, isn't it? It is. So, seriously, so, are you embarrassed then? Are you like, oh, no. no. My mum and dad are absolute idiots. I don't have an opinion on it. This one's weirdly shiny. Is it 2015? 
Uh, it's a 2011. Oh, that is shiny. For 2011. I found Bruno Archie's and DNA double helix. Nice. Do you, have to, do you have to have your man hands like, so close to me, can't you? Just like, just back up a little bit. Absolute manly hands. Go on, closer, closer. Come on, show I everybody. Can't see which just go up, just straight up. The way you light up my world like nobody. Oh, that's One Direction, sorry. There you go. DNA double helix. Can, do you know what it says around the outside? You won't know this. You will not Is know it, this. What DNA stands for? Uh, it's, the, it's the long word, yeah. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Oh, you are just sure enough. Now, how do you know that? I'm my mother's daughter. Also, I took GCSE biology. Right. So you know what deoxyribonucleic acid is? It's got nothing to do with, co with coins, you just know. It's your genetics, isn't it? That's what you're made of, DNA, little strands of it. Well, according which to the, is what that is. According to Mr. DNA in Jurassic found, Park, uh, <laughs> does it eat the little DNA strands? I found Charles Dickens. <laughs> they are the building blocks of life. Uh, this is the fake one, shiny 15. Uh, no, that's, uh, that looks real. You, but the 2015, you can have a look for a rotation error because you might be worth it, worth it, 10 is worth a coin. So put it between your fingers, flip it over, and the, so you've got the 2000, the, mm -hmm. the, like the, between the zero and the one, if you do that right in the middle and spit it, and if the queen's right in the middle and there's a little dot on the other side, it is not rotated. If the queen's got a one con, it's a rotation. No, that is not a rotation error. That is a standard 2015. So it's worth looking. If you get a shiny 2015, it's worth looking at. There's another Charles Dickens. Do you know on Charles Dickens, all his, all his novels are in his head? Yep. Did you know that? I found another one. Can you name three Charles Dickens novels? Yeah, Great Expectations. Um, Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. And Oliver Twist. Are you impressed? Can you name another three? No, I'd have only got um, Great Expectations and A Christmas Carol. Oh, so did I win? Yep. Yes. You were currently winning. There's another Isambard Kingdom Brunel portrait, the selfie, the one with the man on it. And this one's got like a black ring on it. Like it's falling, gonna fall out. You are currently winning when it comes to the plum fine light because we'll be doing well to beat that, uh, that Olympic, I'm telling you. Oh. Sir Poochington is, is Lady of M in the area. I think she has arrived. Is she back from work? Hopefully. I'm sure she won't mind you taking a seat. Right, there is another comedy. Still no skulls, like. Still no. Oh, I put Charles Dickens up there and I was going, I was going to shake these at the top. Ah, that's a nice one. Mark Horney. Only worth two squares. He's in that song. Uh, <laughs> we built this city. I recognise the name after you talking about coins. What, we, we built this city? Yeah. Marconi's in that? Marconi plays the mamba, listen to the radio. Oh, is that what that <laughs> word says? Marconi plays the mamba. My phone's ringing. Listen to the radio. There's another guy, Fox. Hey, well, I didn't know that. I'm well, well impressed. Is this lady around ringing? No, it's the random number that keeps ringing. Oh. Ah. Maybe it's like. It's rang me. Give us the three inside. Three times in the same day. Give me the inside gossip, on on Lady of M and Bungle. Tell us. Um, they've just got a new bed. There is a, no, I mean, no, I don't, don't actually want you to give anything away. <laughs> There's the First World War Army Centenary. No, I mean that's why they might be ringing. They might have found out that you've got famous parents, mm. and they want to know. They want the inside scoop. I will. Ah, right now that there's a chance of that being a thirty or a forty pounds worth of coin mm -hmm. if the, the edge inscription around the outside says for king and country. Mm -hmm. If it says what the piece of work is a man, then it is only worth two pound. Yes. Yeah, Has he right got a zit one. on his head? He can sometimes get a little like on, right on the bump of his head. He can sometimes He's get got a zit. A few dots on him, but like. I've got one as well, and that's the hat trick complete. Anyway, let's have a look. So you're a little. No, it's just. I, think I got another gunpowder plot one. Very common is the gunpowder plot. Don't think I found this many for a while. Ooh, it that's looks uh, cool. That's shiny. Ooh, shiny but dirty all at the same time. Look at that. Like look, at, look, at, look how tried to be clean, but yeah. then that bit was look, missed. Look how shiny that is. It looks new, and then if you spin it over, you've got this horrible, horrible stuff on it. Yuck. Right, we've only got two bags left here, Ellie. Can you steal mine? Well, now you can have that one. Do you want that one? No, you can keep it now. Got a Tron helmet. So we've got the chance 
of, well, a bag left each. Oh, there's another Shakespeare. A bag each to the halfway stage of Ellie actually winning her own book back. It does mean, remember though, the badges and the uh, and the bunny <laughs> is still available for just six English pounds. That is the Act of Union jigsaw piece. And we all hold our breath. There's another jigsaw piece. Is Commonwealth Games Wales going to be here? Probably not. Nice. That one's dirty. It'd be nice if you get two more commemoratives, like, because it'll fill it'll fill the entire mat. Oh, there's one commemorative. Oh, that's uh, shiny. The, uh, yeah, another army centenary. Is there a chance of one more one more to fill it? Is that one nice and shiny now? Is there another one? Oh, what a shame! No, it's one from the year two thousand. What a shame we couldn't fill that final spot. Maybe it's in maybe it's in the second bag. We will. Ah, yeah, if we're, if we're going to do it, we might as well put the star of the show in. There we go, that'll fill that, that little hole, won't it? Right, well, I think we've done all right. Got plenty of variety. We've got some nice, uh, a nice silver find in the, in the, in the Robert Burns. They don't find that very often. A couple of nice shiny ones, but the plum, the plum, Ellie, is absolutely this. So you've done well here. It's a, this is a four or five pound coin all day long. It is not in the greatest condition. So maybe they might be closer to four pound than, than five. That's nice, that. 2000, 2008, I assume, must be. It's 100 years, isn't it? Does it not have 2008 on? Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, you have two power 2008. Olympic centenary. Lovely. Right, well, hopefully, uh, Ellie, that uh, the best of the luck is still to come in part two. So I want to say thanks to Ellie for joining us. Thank you a lot for watching. Do tune in next Thursday, 23rd of December, 2021, for Ellie's final chance to... Um, complete the book and take the book home with it otherwise it'll say stay safely in my family cabinet right are we all done i've just realized you can now see this drink yeah you can anyway oh. i've asked for a different color one for christmas to maybe try and try and blend it in but never mind anyway do you want to say thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode i think you want to say we'll see you real soon <laughs> is it christopher is listen don't song? be telling <laughs> obviously you will know where all my little things come from watching other youtube videos so um, um so you don't don't give away any secrets what was this do you want to say it? See you in the next episode. That was what I was going to say. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I tell you what, we need to do a thumbnail. No, Actually, no, you're right. I forgot. But we need to do a thumbnail. So we've been doing their uh, blind reacts. Like I've been giving you a phrase, and then you've got to like show it into the camera to to do the expression. Um, <laughs> so because we need to do an actual thumbnail, so we need to pick a, a coin. So not the not the plums, not to give it away. So we need to put a nice coin in. Oh well, you, well actually, you can pick. Go on then. My phone's ringing again. Uh, 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 that's all uh, you mean. I'm going to answer it, are you? Our, all of our phones are ringing, actually. Like right. Shipping. Okay. So is that the one you want to use? Mm -hmm. Right. So so hold it right up so, so it takes up all of, the, all of the screen. In fact, I might do a, in fact, I might do a little bit of a zoom even. There we go. Right. So can you see? Yeah. That's it. So if this is the hard bit. I do this bit. Your mum doesn't know this bit. I do this bit. So you're looking at the camera and you've got to say, you've got to... Pretend you're CoinTuber royalty and you look at CoinTuber as in a YouTuber for coins. Yeah, I got A that. CoinTuber royalty looking down on the <laughs> mere mortals with disdain. And that was suggested by Steve Smithers. So are you ready? So we're going, we're going to do like kind of one, two, three, and then I'll use that as the, as the, as the thumbnail. All right, but you've got to keep the coin. You've got to look down with the disdain. Are you ready? Do I look away then go or just go one, two, three? <laughs> I don't, disdain's quite a hard emotion to measure Are you ready? One. Two, three. Have you held it? Mm. Nice. Okay, now you have to say thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. I kept trying to say the wrong thing. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I didn't press stop. No, you didn't. Or again. There we go.